Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Revealed. As you can see behind me, the entryway is installed. Now let's walk through the process on how we got there. To start this project off, the guys had to remove the old structure. Once that came down, we were able to clean up the bricks, insulate any gaps that might have been there from the existing structure, and just kind of fine tune all the stuff behind our facade. So this here is actually one of the corbels that was removed from the entryway. If we spin it around, you can see there's just a ton of insect damage and just general rot. With the sapili that we made the new entryway from, we're going to avoid a lot of this insect and rot damage. The first step in installing our unit was to get the pilasters installed. To do this, the guys had to scribe in several different locations. We had the baseboard scribe where we just scribe to the threshold, which is at a slight angle to repel any water. Then they also had to come along and scribe the edge to the bricks. They had to do this going all the way up. For the jam side, it was just a pretty straight butt joint. There were actually two by fours in between the bricks. So we were able to screw directly to those two by fours, fastening this and making it super secure. For all of these screws, we went ahead and pre-drilled them at a quarter inch so that we can make plugs and fill all these holes in so that you'll never see them. Now remember, a pilaster is different than a column. With the pilaster, it's non-structural, only projecting off the building structure a little bit, whereas a column would be something that's further away from the actual building and supports the roof load from above. While both types are decorative, the pilasters are usually strictly decorative. Because this unit is outside, we did use a wood called sapili, which is very rot resistant. It's going to last a very long time. We also used some exterior grade MDF. Both of these together are going to survive the elements for a long time to come. We took the extra step here to prime not only the outsides, but the backside and all of our scribe cuts as well, just to give us that extra layer of protection. In the previous episode where we showed you guys how we were site measuring for this, you might recall there was one single light up in the center on the top here. We actually removed that light and added two lights, one on either side. So behind these lights, we had a cut in for new electrical boxes right into the brick, running to the existing wires and switch that were up top here. We needed to make a junction box behind this corbel. Now to satisfy code, we need access to that junction box. So this corbel is removable. So for the upper portion here, the guys actually built a standalone box. We then added two layers of 3 8 plywood to allow us to bend to that curve. Which they were then able to fasten directly to the bricks. which then allowed us to nail our fascia directly to that structure. With the fascia board attached, they were then able to cut and scribe that crown molding and slide that right into place. So this is a crown from a previous episode. If you guys are interested in seeing exactly how we fabricated this in our shop, we'll put a link up here for you guys to check that video out. This archway is going to get a copper roof to match the copper gutters of the house. Once the roofers come to install the copper, they'll remove our temporary ice and water shield and we'll add on a high heat ice and water shield. Once the copper roof is installed and the weather gets a little bit warmer, the painters will come back out and repaint this entire entryway. Now that about does it for this week's episode. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys could, we're having a little bit of an internal debate here. Is it pilaster or pilaster? 
Drop us a line in the comments and let us know what you think. In the coming months, once all this work is done, we will drop some final shots in a future episode, so stay tuned. Section. Very section. Okay. All right. Boom. However, that would bring on a whole ton, a whole bunch more challenges. Whole ton. <laughs> whole ton. Yeah. Old unit that they, um, plugged. For all of these screws, more. <laughs> Um, let me do one quick thing real quick. We'll tag a link. Tag a link? We'll put a link. I'll go to like a hangy thing, I can feel it. Can you hear him? You want me to tell him to shut up? <laughs> okay, what works for that? I got one, I got one. <laughs> I think I kind of spoke in circles there, but that's all right. They then, uh, <laughs> we're all done here.